Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm back today with another company exposure. And this is a bad one because, to me, it is very important that my subscribers, my followers know exactly what's going on when it comes to shady ass companies, companies who are selling shady ass products. And now for the disclaimer that has to happen every single time I do one of these videos when it comes to this kind of subject matter. Number one, I want to first point out this. Without fail, every single time I do a video like this, somebody goes on a tangent in the comments saying you're an evil bitch, you're doing this on purpose, you're trying to ruin a company, but da da you're vindictive. Listen, that is not my intention at all. My intention is not to ruin a company. My intention is to warn my subscribers who I care about very, very much about companies who are trying to sell them products that are not good for them. They, the company itself doesn't need help going downhill if that's what's going on with the company. The company is doing well enough on its own ruining itself doing what it's doing right now, which is why I'm making this video, to warn you guys about the company. Number two, um... If I'm seen as a vindictive evil bitch because I sat down for hours, literally hours, and did research on this company, in-depth research on this company, if that makes me a vindictive bitch, a vindictive evil bitch, listen, so be it. I'll be that vindictive evil bitch if it means that I told my subscribers about a company that could potentially harm them. To me, you guys are worth being called the names, so yeah. Just, just putting that out there. So the company that I'm talking about is Glitter Injections, or people like to say now, Glitter Infections. The very first time I ever heard about Glitter Injections was in one of Nicole Guerrero's more recent videos, which I will link down below for you guys. In the video, she was doing a tutorial on how to get this really, oh my god, the look was beautiful, this really pretty, very pinky look using one of the new Glitter Injections pressed glitters. And that was the first and last time I ever heard of the product. Now, fast forward to about maybe um, maybe a month ago on Instagram. I was on Instagram, obviously, and there was a profile, I forget the name, I feel like it's Cake Face Confessional or Professional, I don't know, that will also be linked down below for you guys to check out. I found this profile and she had uploaded a picture of what looked like a screenshot. The screenshotted conversation is between a understandably so upset customer and the owner of Glitter Injections. I think her name is Jessica Wong. Yeah, Jessica Wong. This person, the customer, had said, listen, I bought some of these pressed glitters and there is something growing on them and I don't know what it is. It looks like mold. The company owner, Jessica, has basically denied any and all claims to whatever is going on with these pressed glitters as being mold. She adamantly, absolutely denies it being mold. Owner claims adamantly that preservatives are being used in the creation and the formulation of these pressed glitters. Now, if that was the case, there would not be any kind of mold growing on them because preservatives, what? They preserve the product. So why would there be mold growing on them or anything affecting the glitters if there is preservatives in them? You see what I mean? And it says here also, nowhere on the ingredients list, which I will link down below for you guys, is there a preservative? There are, however, two hygroscopic ingredients, which are ingredients that pull the moisture from the air, which in turn, hello, when you leave bread out for a couple of days and it gets moisture on it, what does it do? It molds. Hygroscopic ingredients create mold because they pull the moisture from the air, which is what is happening to these shadows, or I'm sorry, these pressed glitters. Owner claims pans are rusting, rusting because of alcohol. However, unless she is using something under 90% concentrated alcohol, those pans would not be rusty. If you look at the pictures, you can clearly clear as day C, there is something greenish and fuzzy or looking fuzzy growing on these pressed glitters. So if it's not mold, if it's not anything that could be harmful when it comes to mold, then what the hell is it? I'm going to read my next statement verbatim um, from the paper. So it says here, initially, there was no eye safe claim on the product before the owner claimed the glitters were intended for the eye 
and that they had no expiration date, which number one, that is a huge lie. Because if you go to any, any product, there is a symbol on the makeup. It's not gonna focus. See that right, right in the middle there between that little circle thing right there? It's a product, it's a makeup product with the lid open. In that little product, there is an expiration date. This one says 12 months. Every single makeup product you put on your face has an expiration date. So the fact that this lady clearly has absolutely no knowledge of anything when it comes to cosmetics, just the fact that she's making these products to me is disgusting. Literally any single product, this mascara, where is it? 12 months. Every product has an expiration date. Let me reiterate that again. Every product has a expiration date. As far as customer service goes, I have myself, with my own eyes, have seen people being blocked, comments being deleted, if they mention anything about the pressed glitters having mold in them. If you say the word mold on that profile, you will get blocked like that. She ignores any and every claim and refuses in most cases, to give any kind of refunds because her new thing now is to blame the customers for the glitter injections, glitter, pressed glitters being moldy. Anybody with any kind of common sense or knowledge about makeup and what you can and cannot put in your eye area would know that glitters are not meant for the eye area if they are not specifically made for the eye. So it says here, creator posted pictures of models with the glitters on the lid. Owner would claim that the glitters were eye safe. She adamantly said the glitters are eye safe, you can use them on there, and then posted pictures of the models with glitter on the eyes. And yes, the looks looked gorgeous, but it's dangerous. What you are showing your customers is something that's completely dangerous to be doing. It says here, not eye safe claim was finally put on the products after, after pictures and claims were released publicly that the company decided to put the not eye safe claim on their products. And to me, like, what the fuck are you doing? I tried doing some more in-depth research on the owner of the company herself, um, and I tried to see if she had any background in cosmetology when it came to being an esthetician or a makeup artist professionally, an educated, school-educated, licensed makeup artist. I could not find anything. So whether or not she is one, I have no idea. I'm not gonna sit here and say that she's not. Just by what I had been telling you and her lack of knowledge about products having an expiration date, that alone shows me that she must not be somebody who is professionally licensed or educated. Now, none of this would be as bad, even though it really is bad. It wouldn't be as bad if the prices weren't so astronomical. For a set of 20 of these moldy pressed glitters, you have to pay $180. No thanks. For a set of 12, you pay 108 For a set of four, you spend $39.99. For a single shadow, for a single pan, you spend $13. I can go to MAC right now and buy a eyeshadow pan for six bucks. These are outrageously priced. However, you know what? If people are gonna buy them, that's on them. However, do I think they're worth it? Absolutely not, especially for all the problems these people are having. Shitty customer service. This lady refuses at all to give anybody any kind of refund or resend something to them. She refuses to do that, even though what is happening to these pressed glitters is all in the formulation. She created a shit product that is molding. It's not rust. I have said this many times before and I will say it again. Do not ever put your money or invest in a company who sees you as nothing more than another sale. Because unfortunately, that's exactly what she's doing because, and I will have a screenshot to back up what I'm saying, she has said before that everything that's happening right now is all because people are hating on her because she has so much success and she's rich, she doesn't give a fuck. She does not give a shit about your health or what you're gonna put on your face. She does not care because she's still making the money. This is what I'm talking about when I talk about companies who don't give a fuck about you. Invest your money and your time 
in a company who actually gives a fuck about you as a human being, who doesn't see you as anything more than just a dollar dollar bill, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, why? I'm going to do a huge indie brand exposure for you guys and film it and have that for you guys within the next couple of weeks. Because I, 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 I say all the time, invest your money in companies who actually give a shit about you, who sell good product, who are not charging you an entire fucking car payment a month for a bunch of moldy fucking glitters. Like, that's ridiculous. That's disgusting. So, yeah. Hopefully, this put into light some of the issues that you may or may not have heard with this company. If it's your first time hearing about this kind of thing, I apologize, but would I buy from this company? Hell no! I would never invest my money in this kind of a shit company. There's no way I would ever invest my money in that kind of shit. But before I go, I first want to leave you guys with some information that may or may not help you. Um, if you have had any issues with any of the products on that website from this company, but more specifically the pressed glitters, any issues at all, please file a report because the FDA will investigate if enough complaints are filed. Um, the number for that is 410-779-5713. I will leave it down below here for you guys as well as in the description box. Please file a report and let's get this thing figured out and fixed. Once again, to end the video, I'm not trying to be a vindictive bitch. I understand that a lot of what I might have said may have came off really, really bitchy, but when it comes to my subscribers who I know are interested in these kind of things, I want you guys to know what is good and what's not good for you. I would really appreciate it if someone did the same thing for me because I would hate to invest that much money into a product and then a few weeks later it's completely unusable because there's mold growing in it. Like, that is completely unacceptable and so disgusting and I would hate to hear that one of my subscribers got affected by this because no one warned them about it. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or requests, leave them down below. I love you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.